everybody here I am in my backyard there's the sea star set up on my little portable table and I had such a success with the new firmware checking out the Sun earlier that I'm gonna use a sea star and try to go to the moon and check out the quarter moon I have made several videos well one big video about the fact that the moon go to's simply did not work so here we are going to put the new firmware, I believe it's a firmware version 2.2.1 to the test and see if it will successfully do a go to to the moon. Uh, it's not even, the sun is barely set, so it's not uh, quite evening, not quite uh, daytime, it's sort of dusk. So let's check it out. Turning the sea star on, probably should have done that before I hit connect. Powering on, ready to connect. All right, here we go. All right, we are connected. I'm going to open up the arm to take the dust cap off. All right, let's check out the level real quick. That seemed to be a problem when I went to the sun. I'm in a different uh, location, so just level. Let's see where we're at. Please level your C star. Uh, it's sort of pretty good, but let me see what I got to do here. All right, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 is good enough, I hope. Let's see if we can uh, go to the moon. Looks like it's going at the right altitude. It's just got to rotate over. It's going, uh, it's looking east when it needs to move a little bit more south. So this is not good. Looks like it's inching back over to the south, which is what it needs to do. And there it is. Look at that. Wow. All right. Good job on the firmware update. And this just confirms, this just confirms my previous statements that all that business with all that different calibration uh, is not really required. The thing should automatically go to it like it does to everything else. Go to it, meaning the moon. So let me do autofocus here. All right, we're going to track. All right, let's take a screenshot. All right, very nice. Let's try a two time zoom. Let's do autofocus again. Okay, let's take a screenshot. All right, everybody, there you go. This is just proof that uh, what I was saying, I'm still going to claim is correct. You didn't need to do all that uh, calibration specifically for the moon where you didn't need to do uh, any kind of bizarre calibrations for any other deep sky object. Going to the moon is no different than going to the sun, or it should be no different. Let me know what you think down below. Clear skies, everybody. Greg out. <laughs>